Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalist 3 Divine Wind with your host Shenra currently playing as Ireland. And uh, I switched back to my old Sennheiser microphone. It's a headset microphone with a boom. And, you know, I like it. The sound quality is better on the microphone. I've got a studio microphone. I could use that as well. But let me try this one for a while because I didn't like the sound of the microphone I had been using uh, in these first 14 videos. So now for the 15th video here, we're going to use the Sennheiser microphone. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into game. Oh yeah, I've been playing a little bit as at Coinlu. This was actually pretty fun. Uh, you start out with like uh, traditional Persia, and then I conquered Georgia. And uh, yeah, it's actually fun to play because you're you're Sunni, and all the lands you control are Shiite because they're they're Persian. You know, modern day Iran is Shiite, and uh, your neighbor Khorasan is Shiite, but all of their lands are Sunni. So both of them, it's like they have misplaced each other. It's like, we should be controlling this region because we're Sunni, and they should be controlling this region because they're Shiite. But we're, like, reversed. So we're spending all of our missionaries to uh, convert everyone and all that jazz. Anyway, it's kind of fun. We just finished, our king died, so we just finished putting down all the rebels. When your king, die, when your king dies in a Muslim tribal, or a cognate, I guess, when your king dies in a Muslim cognate, you wind up with, like, six or seven states that rebel and each of them gets like six or seven units so you have to put down all these rebellions but it's not that bad anyway let's get back to Ireland all right where were we still at war with Mutapa still have our vassal in Norway I don't think much was really going on so let me go ahead and jump in whoa that sounds really loud <laughs> I'm wearing my headset now so everything sounds louder okay Click. Yeah, I heard that. Alright, so our colonizing is going pretty well. We do have a colonist. Are we waiting for this dude? This guy finishes in July. Yeah, we'll wait for him to get there. Then we'll send another one. Do we need to? No, we won't have to send another one. So I guess we can head over here. Whoa, all those sounds are so loud now. If that's too loud in this video then I'll go back and adjust that setting later. Uh, oh right, we just finished our, f our war with Long Zong. So our dudes are moving out of their territory. We have some ships to prevent pirates. And I believe I was talking about going to war with Brunei and Pegu. Because we have holy war. What the hell? Pegu is Shinto? <laughs> what? <laughs> and Fujiwara will defend them? <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I don't see any reason not to do this. So they're going to go all the way to Pegu. And I also need... Oh, we have a truce with them, so we can't declare war on them. But I do want to get Yudong here, because they have ivory. So we'll do that eventually. I also want Blamergan. I mean, it's right next to us, and it's cotton. And I believe once we once we take this, then we'll get the Kazus Belly to declare war on Bali, because they're the different religion. So we have to take this one first. You have to border them to get the Holy War Kazus Belly. So with war with these guys, we want to take all of their profitable territories, specifically the Spice regions. So we'll take this whole... We'll take the entire eastern... Uh, side of Sumatra. We'll let them keep these two because they're crap. And we'll let them keep Riau. And then we'll take Johor, Malacca, and Perak because it's more spices. And that gives us a land bridge to walk back and forth. So we can just keep our army in Malacca or whatever. Whatever can support the most units. And then over here we'll take Banjar Marasin and Saba. So we can't take Brunei because it's their capital. But uh, who knows. And Makassar. We'll have to go to war with Persia for that. What's their land tech? 18? What's mine? 21. So yeah, we could easily fight Persia. We don't have a Kazus Belly though, so... Hmm. Not sure. We'll, we'll deal with that when the, when the time comes. For now, let's worry about Pegu, because that'll be a whole... That'll be a whole two infamy <laughs> for taking Pegu, because it's their capital region. I wonder if Fujiwara actually will join them. Alright, let me put the speed all the way up. 
And I believe my transport ships were over in Ireland at the time being. Uh, where is my transport fleet? Uh, where is my fleet that's supposed to be in Ireland? Oh, I'm building a new army. Oh, wait. Well, that still doesn't account for my... There's no one here. Oh, man, I'm so confused. <laughs> Where did my dudes go? I am not seeing my army up here. Because I had an army here in this region to put down a revolt. And then they got on the boat. And then I supposedly was bringing them back home to Cumbria. Alright, I'm going to have to turn this on. Navies and armies. So I can find them. Oh, right. We had that war with Prussia. Okay, so all is well in the world. I was just confused for a minute. Alright, so get on the damn boat. Let's go back to Korea, and we will let the navy rest up because they're a little damaged. And then I'm going to bring my new, because um, I'm building a new transport fleet, right? Yeah. Wow, that's loud. So I'm going to bring my bring my new transport fleet over here because we only have twenty thousand units over here, and we're going to have to use them to patrol our lands up here and our lands down here because we're gonna get revolts down there we're gonna have to fight down there but I think everything down here is under control we only have two armies here it may be wise to build another army because we're gonna need something up here for this area and we're gonna need something down here for this area so I'll look into it what can we afford we're making 400 a year then I think we can definitely afford a new army so let's get to building a new army. I'm not sure if I can afford it right now. Let me wait for December. Then I'll know how much money I have to spare. Ow. Okay, good. weird lag and I'm not sure why. Let me pause a sec, see if I can fix this lag. Alright, we're back. I hope the uh, frame rate picks up. No, it's slow again. I'm not sure what the hell the problem is. Oh well, we'll just have to deal with it. So I'm going to bring my uh, my current army over to the New World, to South America, and then I'll build a new army here for the homeland. Another uprising here. Damn it. All right, let's get your asses down here. Come on, don't take attrition. So I think I'm gonna put 10,000 guys here and 10,000 guys here. And that should be enough because we have another 20,000 over here. It's a revolt risk anyway. That's not that bad. Most of that's just war exhaustion, but War exhaustion will go away, because we're not taking much attrition anymore. In fact, our attrition is going to go down to zero once we're done with Pegu. <laughs> Look at their defenses. It's awesome. Oh, we have a general, too. Uh, am I paying my dudes? No, I'm not. <laughs> this could be bad for us. Let's wait one month. Get some units back. Burgundy to Clairvoir and Arakan? Really? Uh, 
I'm just not going to defend Arakan. I don't want to go to war with Burgundy. Who's in this war anyway? Oh, it's just Pegu. Good. Alright, new month. Let's see. 520 men every month. So we don't get as much... We don't get as many reinforcements because it's a tropical region. Okay. And it's pretty far from our capital as well. That's okay. We'll wait another month. In fact, I'm going to pay my dudes a little bit. Just a little bit. So let's bring 10,000 guys here. Come on, follow the coast. Yeah, that'll work. Oh cool, lose some more exhaustion. Sounds good to me. Looks like they still don't have this region. Good. We'll try to get it first. Back over here. Alright, so they're at full health now. And they're ready to go. We can finish them up. And we have a colonist. Good, good, good. Rana, 960. Very nice. So when that turns over, we'll take Uruguay. And Venus Garius will send one there. See if we can pinch them off right here. Ooh, we're full of magistrates. What should I build? I want to build something, but... Oh, man. So many things I need to spend my money on. Alright. Is anyone almost dead? Yeah, national tax dude is almost dead. Let's get a new national tax dude. Level 5. Nope, not going to hire him. And we have a ton of spies. Who is this that has the same color as me? Kandesh. Oh. Kandesh. Oh, it's almost the same color. Right, let's go ruin someone's door. discovered more of South America. Base tax of 8! Oh my god! Really? 8. I want that. And I'm surprised the uh, European powers have not colonized this down here. <laughs> my viewers said they wanted me to take South Africa, but I already promised I wouldn't, so... Oh, Toulouse colonized St. Helena. Good for you, Toulouse. Maybe maybe you can provide better housing for Napoleon. Alright, so we have a little bit of money, and it's December, so I can spend it freely. Uh, what was I going to do with it? God, I'm so scatterbrained. Oh, right, I was going to build a new army. Up here in the homeland. So, still need a little more money. We'll just wait for the year to turn over. Huh, cool. Revolt. Alright, that is done. We can safely lower our maintenance to something abysmal. And siege it. And an annex. For two infamy. So now we have even more spices. That's awesome. Don't really want that. I do want that. Oh man, I want all this. The coast of India is so profitable. 
And what kind of sucks is now Europe is at war with all this crap. So Europe may be over here taking these lands, and I really wish they wouldn't. I kind of want them. Portugal has a core here, so they could potentially colonize these, these area. And I hope they don't, but they might. Let's see, what's the support limit here? 32. Alright, and just stay in Pegu. And I think we can get rid of your general. Alright, we're good. And we're still at war with Mutapa. We might have to go over there and send some troops in there again, but... I don't know, maybe not. Alright, so let's wait for the new year so we can build more units. Aw, oh, Minas Garius. Aw, oh, why would you do that? You guys were almost a full territory. Now you lost all your natives. Oh well. <laughs> Holy war on a rocket. <laughs> I don't want them, though. Alright, so now we have money again. And we're making 640. Alright, you guys build some. And you build some cannons. And you build some cannons. Alright, so that's our full army. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna have to ferry some dudes back from South America. We just brought them. How many are in Norfolk? Four. All right, we'll just bring over ten guys. We'll take these dudes. Uh, go this way. Nah, probably faster just go to Unami. Now, yeah, our war exhaustion is going down again. See, it says current ruler minus 0.11 and more taxes plus 0.10. So our war exhaustion is going to go down now, which is great. Curlin's independent. Oh, poor Prussia. They're just getting owned. And Bohemia's at war with them again. Jeez. Cool. Stability's up. Uh, annex Norway. Give it a shot. Unlikely. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Finally. It's hard to rule from Waterford. Yep. Yep. Good, good, good. So, now we're going to... Oh, we can't sell them a province. Why not? I want to give you guys Tron time. <laughs> Protestant zealots from Poland, it looks like. guys are all set. Let's go back. And let's first go here. Actually, let's go here. Here. Islands. Because that one's at 60%. Nah, tax 2. Not great. Damn it, I'm going I'm to lose these units that are being recruited if I don't kill that uh, army quickly enough. Ooh, we have a colonist. Uh, yeah, go here. Base tax 8, hell yes. Can we reach anything else yet? Nope. So we're about to land on these guys. Cool, we made it in time. I'm gonna give them a general. Get back on the boat. Try to save our unit. Nope, he's gonna die. Yeah, oh well. Hmm. So I need to recruit a new cavalry down here. Doc 
up for a minute. Alright, so those guys are dead. Good. Ooh, new idea time. Very sexy. <laughs> Light bulb. Uh you guys are fine. Just gonna... right, so what do we want? I kind of forget what I had spoken about earlier as far as what to take. I think we wanted national trade policy because that would allow us Oh, what's colonial expansion? No. Uh, let's see, statesman. No. Nope. Oh, I do need to build a university in Leinster, I think. Yeah, for the School Establishment Act. Yeah, because I want to do that. All right, so I'll build a university in Leinster when I have another thousand bucks. Uh, humanist tolerance. Ew, no. Uh, House of Trade. Here we go. National Trade Policy. And what does this do? This gives national tax plus 5%. Merchants and uh, the cost of everything goes up, but trade income also goes up. So yeah, that is brilliant. So anything else we get with National Trade Policy? Yes, this one. Navigation Act. Trade efficiency goes up, naval force. Oh, yes. Oh, I need this. So I need a collector. What is a collector? Trade efficiency plus one. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not going to keep him around too long, but we're going to get him. I'll put him here because this guy's old. Uh, where's my collector? There we go. Collector. Yeah, why doesn't it say collector anywhere here? Oh well, anyway. So we have a collector now. So now all we need is that idea. National trade policy. Perfect. So now we can adopt these ideas. Navigation Act. Infamy goes up a tiny bit. Naval force limits plus 10%. Ooh, brilliant. Impose restrictions on the use of foreign shipping in regards to trade and promote the use of national vessels. Cool. Pass Importation Act. What's this? Number of center trades, at least one. National trade. Production efficiency. Importation Act. Trade efficiency goes up. National trade goes up. Oh, okay. Cool. More money. Establish a house of trade. That's what we wanted. More merchants, more national tax, and more trade. Oh, those are some nice policies right there. I'm in love. The only downside was our tech cost went up by 6%, which is quite a bit, but I'm not really worried about it. We're, we're large enough, and our economy is good enough that I think we can keep our... We'll be able to get our technology back in the green once our stability... Uh, uh, the hell? It says it won't be finished until March 1674. Well, invest in it, you twit. Now what does it say? 1611. Okay, three years. That's not that bad. But we'll, we'll get our tech back in the green. I wouldn't worry about it too much. We'll get up there. So yeah, that was a great idea for us. National trade policy. Whoa, lag. Whoa. Whoa. Why is it lagging? It's like I'm playing Victoria again. Alright, get on the boat. Unhappiness among the clergy. Ah, oh, damn it. Narrow-minded or lose stability. Ah... <sighs> See, this is when I need those stupid events. Plus two stability, plus one stability. Why don't I get them now? Why don't I get them now, damn it? Alright, so let's go get rid of these guys. He's almost there. You are almost full. So... Let's see, I shouldn't push Minas Garius. Oh, hello. Revolt risk should be zero around here. Yeah, revolt risk is zero. How did you even spawn? That is amazing. You should not have been able to spawn, mister.
You're not even on the list. Havana's not even on this damn list. Should not have been able to spawn. Oh well. I will have to ship them down here. <laughs> this is why I need another transport fleet, for sure. <laughs> for some reason, Alan Khan is docked up here. We still can't sell in the province. I don't understand why. Oh well. And we are full of spies, so let's see if there's anyone we can kick out. Nope. 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 Well, we could do the Pope, but there's no freaking natives. I wish I could have gotten that one. That was like a 4 or 5 base tax, but I wasn't quick enough. Hmm. No. Well, I could do these, but I don't really want them. They're like base 1 tax. And I don't see anyone colonizing over here yet. If I see anyone colonizing over here, that's what I'll use my spies on. So I guess I'll just hold on to them for now. i got nothing else to do with them. Oh wow, look at Long Zong getting eaten up. Who's this? Wu. Really? I thought Wu only had this one island. Oh no, they have more up here. Okay. Cool. There, we used a spy. I wish, uh, I wish infiltrating their, their government would, uh, Infiltrating administration. I wish that would lift the fog of war over their territory because it looks like they have all this, but it won't let us see it. I really think the spy should be able to discover that for you. All right, we're back on the boats. So let's head on down this way. Take the safe route, will you? Take the safe route. Hopefully we'll get there before Havana turns. It looks like Europe's making peace with uh, all these people and rather than actually fighting them. Eh, whatever. Ooh, slider change. And then yeah, someone said I should move more towards naval, and I agree. Because... Uh, we have a big navy, and we do not have a big army, so I think it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> we lost money in land tech, whatever. Cool, we're almost there. And this one should turn over oh, a couple... Oh, wait, 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 minus 39 a year, why? Maintenance, I'm maintaining you, aren't I? Oh my god, I turned down colonial maintenance. I wanted to turn down military maintenance. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, how did I, how did I screw that up? Man, I'm dumb. Hey, New Jersey went core. I gotta rename that. New Leinster. And what else can I rename around here? Uh, what was the one called that had Dublin in it before Leinster absorbed them? <laughs> uh, started with an M. Let's go take a look. They're over here. <laughs> new Meath. There we go. A new Connaught and new Ulster. I gotta add those too. Who's the last one? The last one was Munster or Munster. Where can we put New Munster? Uh, I guess here. 
Why not? The Munster without the Umlaut. Alright, so our Navy's almost here. They're at 100%. They're at 100%. Let's see if we can make it. Yes, we made it. Awesome. So this was our army from here. So we're going to bring them back home. And bring our navy back home as well. Hey, good timing. And we have a colonist. Two, two, one. And we're making enough money. Oh, I want to be able to reach all this crap already. Hurry up. Let me reach these, please. Thank you. Uh, I could keep going this way just to make sure no one is able to take this land. Oh, these are, these are actually worth something. Five, seven, really? I did not know these had such good base attacks. Oh, these suck. Oh, these are really bad. But these are good down here, so we'll just continue along here. Make sure no one can uh, take that part of the country. really want me to do colonial expansion, but I'm not super interested in it. Eh, I'll do it. Wow, there's all this stuff. I don't want anti-piracy. What's Militia Act? Disability goes up, discipline goes... No, don't want that. Although you do get centralization and quantity. Liquor Act. Nope, you have to be narrow-minded. Benign neglect... Nope. I do want School Establishment Act. What about Judiciary? National tax, revolt risk goes down. Mm, revolt risk down is nice, but eh, I kind of like having taxes. Let's just go for school establishment. So I have the money now. Let's see if we have the money in December to uh, build a university in our capital. I really wish we could move our capital, but it's so dumb. All right, so our army is now built. So we're going to go meet up in Coimbra. So give me a minute here. Get all these dudes here first. Coin expansion. Uh, yeah. All right, good. Oh, our new navy is almost done. Oh, they are done. Our new 20 transports. Transports. Oops. And our other navy ships. Killfest. Smiley face. Right, so transports are going to head over here because I don't think I really need the navy over here. Because the European navy is going to be the only ones that are actually going to be threatening to me. Oh, and I need a new bark over here. We'll put our navy over here for now. And then I need to separate a bark. You. Come over 
here to Pegu. And then, as our infamy goes down... Do we have an infamy, dude? We do. Alright, oh, that's right after you... That's what I need to use my magistrates for, is paintings. Because I need to get my national tax dude back. Oh, we have two colonists. Damn it. I'm not paying attention. Yes, Minas Garius. And this one, almost done. Uh, I'll go to Uruguay, just to block them off. Oh, I can't. Oh, because Piranha's not a territory yet. And it looks like Achillea, or not, is that Achillea? No, Armagnac. It looks like Armagnac has this land. That looks like their color. I'm guessing. <laughs> So let's link up our lands. Why not? Ooh, new missionary. Cool. There we go. still can't sell it, so you know what? I'm going to let the Norwegian nationalists take it over, and then they can do whatever the hell they want. I don't want that land. <laughs> I really just wanted Orkney, and we have it. You know what we haven't had in a long time is a spread of Protestantism, or what are the other ones called? Reformed. These guys. So I think now it's safe to start converting all these lands back. When we get enough, uh, when we get enough missionaries, that is. It'll take a while. Well, even Korea's down here. Who's this? Oh, Pretender Rebels. Alright, let's see. What can we do? Salad of Bohemia. Oh, Bohemia, you are big. <laughs> Offer vassalization. <laughs> uh, wow, they, they actually have two seaports now. Look at that. Three seaports. Oh, wow. Well, let's give them a little gift to keep them happy. And Castile. Yep, gift them these. Keep them happy. Burgundy. Royal Marry Me. Oh, my king died, so I have to royal marry everyone again. Damn it. Forgot about that. Hmm. I could do Riga. I don't know. It's hard for me to decide who I want to have as allies right now. But marriages never hurt, so let's get some marriages. Oh, I'm out. Hey, everyone said yes. Cool. And new, another colonist. So let's go up the California coast again. And I think I... Whoa. Uh, e, production tech or population growth? Uh, give me population growth. What I don't have up here is any military presence at all. I need something. I don't have anything up here either. So I think I need to connect these lands so I'll be able to bring this dude up here if I ever have to. What I also need is a transport navy along here so that I can transport dudes up to this coast because I don't have an army. And it looks like I need two more barks over here for here and here. So let's separate some barks. Send those dudes over here, and then we'll split them up. Oh, Bihar annexed Sean. <laughs> the rich get richer. So there's our bar. Where's our transport fleet? There it is.
discovered the White Sea, and we have another diplomat. Let's get our marriage back. What's going on here? Call to arms from Castile. What war are they in? I don't know. Vijayanagar? Oh my god, Castile. I mean, I'll accept it, because Vijayanagar is not very powerful. Uh, and you know what? Maybe, I, maybe I'll take one of these lands along here. Like, maybe I'll take this one. So that we'll get the holy war against Vijayanagar and Kandesh. So we can do... Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. So let's bring these guys up. And we'll just take this territory. Yeah, that's a great idea. Oh. Let's fund our troops. And give the hero a general. No, not that one. Where's my better general? Yeah. Get the good one. There you go. So now we have war with Vijayanagar, and we can take some of their land. It's all spices. It's all good. Austria annexed Sardinia. Again, the rich get richer. How many vassals do you have? <laughs> Bad in the Platinate, Salzburg, Omfrar, and Otter. Jesus Christ, Odyssey. You guys are you guys are a bastard. How's HRE doing? HRE still likes Bavaria. So let's get our marriage back. Oh, we already have a marriage with them. Oh. We could get an alliance with them, but I really want an alliance with the Hansa. Maybe. I'll have to uh, tickle them a bit. I prefer them over anyone else because they are a naval power, and it'll being allied with them will allow me to focus on some other area because both Castile and Hansa can handle the navies around here. Anyway, Castile, Crimea, Ireland, and Brittany. That's it. We'll try to Blitzkrieg this as much as possible. Their tech can't be very good. Yeah, their tech's at 8, so I'm not too worried about them. <laughs> oh, Orkney has Norwegian nationals. I love it. Oops, no. Alliance, maybe. Let's keep giving them gifts. Until they say yes. Hey, look at... Look at Peggy! Peggy is back! And they have reconquest on us. <laughs> And I think we still have Holy War on them, because they border us. Oh, let's just go talk out. Yeah. Yep, Holy War and Pegu. Cool. So we'll deal with them eventually. Actually, that's all fish, isn't it? Fish, fish, yeah, I don't want them. That is a problem. So we're going to have to divert this army down here. Ooh, we have a colonist. Colonist. Can we go here? We can, but we don't need to. And we don't need to here either, so... Let's just keep expanding. Let's go this way. Hello, Norwegian nationalists. Goodbye, Norwegian nationalists. 
And let's uh, chat up the Hansa again. Maybe. Hey, they accepted. Cool. I think that's going to be a great alliance for us, because they've been kicking Sweden's ass anyway, and Sweden's navy doesn't seem to compare to Hansa's navy, so might as well ally with the better, the better dudes. Self-sustaining colony. So hopefully they'll discover these territories so we can colonize over here. What else did I want? Oh yes, I wanted to use my magistrates. Give me some more. Ma oh, I'll just I'll just get a guy. I was gonna get a uh, tax dude. This guy. What I wanted to wait till I had 98 percent, but I need two more. I'll just wait for two more magistrates. Doesn't really matter. You guys landed in Surabaya. No. self-sustaining? I missed that message. Colony in Nicaragua has one of Oh, Nicaragua. Okay, good. Hello? Get a fort. Well, that's why I don't have any magistrates, because I keep building forts. Damn it. Well, I do need the forts, so... It's not that bad. Alright, you killed them. You get a leader. Get on the boat. Uh, wait to the moment. And you guys... And land here. Let's see if we can kill those dudes. Oh, we failed the siege, damn it. Well, anyway, let's see if they'll give us... Hondaivu. That's the only one I want. They will not. It's only 12% and they won't give it to us. <laughs> Lame. Oh, we'll just have to keep conquering. Another self-sustaining colony, but we don't have a magistrate, so oh well. Oh, we landed here. They're all dead. Give me Kondaivu. They will. Okay, good. So no, I don't you don't have to release anyone, I don't care. You don't have any other land anywhere? Alright. Can't vassalize him. So yeah, that's that's fine. You don't have any money. Holy Wars on Vijayanagar and Kandash, which is great because they have all these coastal towns with, look, this is tea, spices, 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 more spices. So, I mean, we're just going to take everything that has spices and tea and cotton, more tea and salt and salt. I mean, they have a lot of profitable little lands here. All right, we have a colonist, so let us spend him. Mm. Military divided. Lose stability on... Oh, oh Jesus. Uh, what's the difference between offensive and defensive? This one gives you morale and shock. 
This one improves your siege and fort defense. I'd rather attack. And look at that, we lose stability either way. That's so dumb. Oh, I hate stability drops. My next national idea may have to be uh, Church Attendance Day, just because it reduces stability cost. All right. Oh, look, Papal State. Hey, hey, Papal State is taking over some of Africa. That's pretty pro. Good job, Papacy. And Toulouse is colonizing. Yep, Toulouse. And Armagnac. Sure, go for it, guys. Back up to five spies again. I could pop some of these off, but I guess I don't need to. I'm not going to worry about it. And Bohemia wants us to join their war. What the fuck are you at war with? Sweden, Nizhny Novgorod, and Switzerland. Hmm. Sweden's the leader. So if I declare war on Sweden, oh, I have good relations with them. So that wouldn't be good. So why don't I insult them? And then I can join that war. Not like I need to, but I can. And then, yeah, then Sweden can take Trondelag. Perfect. Oh, we have leadership in the war. Cool. Then let's call our ally. Very likely. <laughs> then I don't have to do any of the fighting. The Hansa will fight for me. And let's call Castile. And let's call... I don't have any other allies, do I? Nope. Alright, so there we go. I don't have to fight Sweden. Let them fight Sweden. Yep, they both joined. And the Hansa's bringing all their vassals, which is great. Let's see if we can peace out Nizhny Novgorod. No. Can I surrender? No. What about Switzerland? No. Can I surrender? No. Alright, whatever. No big deal. You guys are getting on the boat. That's good. I will need some more armies over here. I need to put a 10,000 dude there, and I need to put 10,000 dudes there. These guys are going back to Pegu. Yep, Holy War on Condes and Vijayanagar. Good. I think all in all, we're doing pretty damn well. I need another bark over here as well. Give me a bark. Bark, bark, bark. You're going here. So how are we on force limits? We're doing okay on the, on the army side, so let's build some more army. Twelve four four, so six two two. So six. We'll do ten thousand there, and then we'll do another ten thousand for Java Island. Perfect. Oh, we're running out of money. Damn it. When December? That's fine. That worked out pretty well. Burgundy declared war on Vagina Gar again. Everyone's joining against VJ. Arakan has warned us. Good for you, Arakan. Alright, so our ships are right. So let's split them up. There we go. Hey, we're getting more cores in uh, Upper New York. Or I guess I should say Upper New Ireland. Hey, hey, the Norwegian nationalists got Trondheim. Good for you. And the Hansa is kicking Sweden's ass. 
as predicted. Austria. Ooh, Austria has quite a bit of Africa, huh. Yeah, sorry, Sweden. No peace for you. Oh, colonist. Good, good, good. Oh, I don't have any money. I have exactly zero, or 0 0.8 ducats. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Oh, I can't afford it. Let me wait till the new year rolls around, then I can afford it. And uh, we have to raise war taxes. And we should declare war on some crappy little country, like Hausa. And we have a colonist, so let's go. Oh, look at that, because we connected up our lands, now it says South America across here. Cool. So we still haven't discovered any of this. That's kind of disappointing, but what can you do? We have a dude going there. Level 1 tax, level 3 tax. I'll go here, level 2 tax. Oh, we're running out of money in June, damn it. Does that fix it? No. Now it runs out in July. <laughs> well, there we go. So Sweden renounced their claims on all the f all, all these lands over here. Cool. And that's about all I'm going to get out of that war, so... They'll take white peace. Oh, they, they took this over? Hold on. Damn it, Nor I thought Norway had it. Alright, so we'll just give that to Sweden, I don't care. Uh, no, I won't. Now let's demand... Wait, what the hell's up with that? I don't know, it looks like I have a core on it. See that little... that means you have a core. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Anyway, what can we make them do? Concede defeat, they will. Revoke cores, they will. Oh, we can make them re release people. Huh. Gotland. <laughs> Norway. Oh my god, Norway would get all that. Wow, yeah, yeah, look at that. Finland would get all that. But they won't, because we don't have enough percent for that. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'll make them um, revoke some cores and uh, get rid of your treaty with uh, Prussia. Yeah, that'll work. All right, and some money. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I like money. So we get a little bit of prestige out of that. We get a little bit of money out of that. And we still have war taxes, I believe. Yes, we do. So let me adjust our economy a bit more. Not that much, you stupid game. Oh, I have to lock it, damn it. And let's see if that goes away. Still says October, damn it. And it's only going to go... Oh, it didn't even change it, there we go. It's only going to go up as uh, we recruit all these units over here. But that's okay. As these colonies, like Piranha's almost done, as these colonies finish, then we will have, uh... Give me one more magistrate, and I'll do that. As these colonies finish, we'll have more income. A lot more income. So I'm not really worried about it. Give me a magistrate, please. Finally, oh, what the hell? Oh my god, they got to Uruguay before I did. You bastards. There you go. Take that, you prick. Oh, I didn't kill them all. They have 15 dudes left. Oh, come on. 
Oh, come on. Really? Really? Uh, that really sucks. <laughs> I had a colonist waiting as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and use our magistrate over here. And what did we need? We needed a national tax, dude. Oh, look at our trade income. Oh my god, that's a lot. Do we have a trade, dude? Trade efficiency. We do. Maybe I don't want a national tax. What do I have? Inflation reduction? I, I want that. Income reduction? I want that. So then the only question is, which one's more valuable? It looks like trade for me is more valuable. 129 every month. So we could try to get a better trade, dude. Ah, naval tradition and culture tradition. Well, let's gamble and see if we get a better one. A lot better than level 4. We did. Good. Now we have level 5. Very cool. So we're making even more money. I like that. And what are we on tariff efficiency? Oh my god, we're going to need so many more big ships. That is ridiculous. Uh, I'll worry about that later. I can't afford all those big ships right now. We lost a general, who cares? Hey, stability! Awesome. There we go, that's what I wanted. Send my colonists. And it's level 4 base tax, cool. Man, I'm pissed that all my spies failed. That really sucks, man. Oh, now we're running out of money in November. The hell? Oh yeah, Trondheim is blockaded, who cares? Steel clear war on Persia. Oh, well this is my opportunity to get Makassar if I want. Although I don't have the Holy War cause us belly. Castile declared war against Persia with the Holy War cause us belly because they border Persia right here, so they get that. But I don't border them anywhere, so I don't get the Holy War cause us belly, so I don't know. I mean, I can join them, but it's not going to do me any good. It'll still be four infamy to take that, and I'm not really interested in more infamy right now. Almost done. There we go. So we've got our two armies on the boat, so we're ready to go over to here. So, since this douchebag took Uruguay, I don't have another spy. Might as well just spend my colonists to try to finish some of our colonies like this one. Finish it. Get our uh, economy back on track quicker. Let's go back down to negative 0.02, please. There we go. Good. 
bits. We got Mata Grosso. He's Spain at war with Armagnac. Oh, that's Armagnac. They have the stupid re... See, Armagnac's... This is Spain's flag, and this is Armagnac's flag. The only difference is the... Uh, the positions are reversed. White, red, red, white. <laughs> red, white, white, red. They just reverse them. <laughs> it's the same freaking flag. Almost the same. And Lake Nicaragua. Holy War against La Na. Alright. Is that worth anything? Base tax of two. No, it's worthless. New colonists, so let us go to another eight. Go to that one. Because these, uh, colonial maintenance is 56 a month, which is quite a bit. Good. Go Norway. You can have it. here now, so we're going to send the last army up to Prenacor. We're all set. So we now have 40,000 troops in this region. So anytime we go to war over here, we should be perfectly fine. So let's send our main fleet back to Ireland. <laughs> our Yak is insulting us. Who cares? Oh, we're full of diplomats again, so let's do some diplomatic stuff. You guys, you love us. Oh, we can call you to arms? I don't really need to. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Ooh, Burgundy would ally with us. That might be very worthwhile. Yeah, let's get it. Why not? What else can we do? Bohemia likes us. Castile really likes us. They trust us utterly. Provence exists. That's interesting. So who are Castile's allies? Papal States and Crimea. Papal States still likes us. Let me give you some access. And Crimea, I don't really care. Oh wow, Castile's losing these to the Ottomans. Excellent. I'm just going to watch them self-destruct over there. Oh, and Bohemia will join against the Ottomans. Actually, I don't want them to. I want Castile to lose some of this land. That would be very beneficial to the entire world, really. Uh, can we piece anyone out of this war? Paramount, no, they're a vassal. Uh, Coruscant, no, they must be a vassal. Oh, wait. I'm a... Yeah, I can't... I'm not even the leader in that war. Oh, okay. Well, screw it. I can probably get out of that war, though. There we go. So we're out of that war. Good. And two more diplomats. I might want to start getting good relations with Austria, because... Well, not really. Baden, Platinum, Papal State, and Utrecht. Yeah, I don't really want good relations with them. Hmm. I could try to, like, Diplo annex somebody, like Brittany or Alan. Because I got nothing else to really do with all of my, uh, diplomats. But I don't really want that part of the world. Oh, damn you, Portugal. You're building ships down here now, because you have cores. Anyway, I think that's a good place to end the video. We actually did quite a lot. We've been colonizing like all hell. Look at all our look at all our damn colonies in this scroll list. Look at all that. That is a lot of colonies. But they are slowly becoming real territories. Let me build some level one forts. And as they become territories, we're gonna be making a lot more money out of them. Oh, now we're losing money in November. Whatever. And uh we had a couple wars over here to get some land. And I think these two territories are going to be very profitable for us. 
Okay, it's already, we just took it over and it's already at 8.8. This one's at 6.4, so we're doing pretty good. And eventually, as we as we build more naval buildings, these two, because they increase your force limits, as we build more of those, and as we shift our slider towards naval, we'll be able to handle a bigger navy. And we might even, we might even go for the idea of uh, this one, Grand Navy get more more uh, force limits because that would mean our navy upkeep will be much cheaper anyway guys uh i hope the audio worked out on this i'm using my new headset i mean not new headset but different microphone i hope it sounds a little better than my last recordings okay thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time in the adventures of ireland